thought we had cleared the table. You have to eat three times a day. Mm, but this show's only half an hour. <laughs> you know, I've also heard, I imagine Dr. Trudy would have some thoughts on eating small meals. That's Maybe very we're important. Yeah. Portion small controls meals one of those throughout fads we hear the day. about. Yeah. That's right. This but is a actually, small meal for you. We are not here to eat the corn. Good. We are here <laughs> to challenge ourselves to cut the corn. Okay. We received this auction donation Lee's Corn Cutter and Creamer. Please be careful with the knives. Hey, my husband said to tell you that he purposely did not send the largest knife because he didn't trust you with it. <laughs> what? I've never heard anybody with a knife. Not yet. <laughs> so we have three different styles of corn cutting, and we are going to attempt. Is one the microwave way? Have you heard about this? One? I guess not, because you have you heard about this? You, you in the husk? I'm I'm hijacking your show. <laughs> In the husk, you put it in the microwave, and then it just slices right off after, I don't know, five minutes or something. No, we didn't try that up. one. Google it. So we're going to try three different corn cutting ideas okay. that we've heard about. We want to hear from you if you've got some other ideas. Andy is going to use Lee's Corn Cutter and Creamer. Mark is going to go with the traditional route. And I am going to try for the bunt pan route. Have you ever heard of the bunt pan? No. Supposedly, this is less messy. All right. You just slam it down? I don't know. We will see. What do I do? So you, you can see the traditional way, as I cut it off, the kernels are going all over the place, which is why the bunt pan can be a useful way to do it, because you collect not only the kernels, but the juices right in the bunt pan. How are you doing over there, Andy? I feel like I'm going to cut myself. I'd be much better with a knife. Are you getting anywhere? Well, I got a little under there. Maybe you need to take the guard off. We well, don't have you didn't it tell down, me do this. <laughs> this is all experimentation. I'm if trying you to notice, cream corn here. We're missing our food expert, Zach. Is there a worse invention in the world than cream corn? <laughs> cream oh, succotash. That is awful as well. <laughs> hey, I heard. This stuff? I actually found out a secret. Some of this corn has been donated by Burgess Farms, mm -hmm. and they were telling me that they thought it was sweeter than other corn. And I found out their secret. I don't know if I'm supposed to reveal it on Sugar? TV or not. Molasses. Oh. So molasses, molasses is in the... Do, does that make the corn slower, too? I don't know. I'm done. How are you guys doing? Well, I've got the kernels off the cob for the most part. Andy, there are three kernels What am I in supposed to do? Nobody has told me yet. I'm just trying to... Did you just do that? I don't know. Thanks for your help, food expert. <laughs> Where is Zach when we need him? There is a little cream on there if you want to... This, it off. this Lee's corn cutter that you have yes. is from 1969. Okay. It we is haven't had any advances in corn creaming technology <laughs> the in the last 50 years. Best known method for removing corn from the cob uniformly. That's what it says here on the back of this, of this information. <laughs> I'm obviously doing it very wrong. <laughs> Remove the cover by lifting hey, the rear of the plate. <laughs> Oh. Loosen the blade screw to lower the blade. How are you doing over there, Mark? I'm not even it's, listening. As I said, the kernels are all off the cob, yeah, but they're all over the place, which is... Lay cutter over a pan. You know how gross that is. Liquid corn. I don't think gross is a proper word to be using on television. What's Place fresh... That? Oh, here's our problem. Place fresh, un uncooked ear of corn in oh. the groove and push with yeah, full see, stroke and quick motion holding fingers. Well, here's you the deal. Hold your fingers. You can come to the auction. We'll give you a great <laughs> deal on the Lee's corn cutter and creamer. Then <laughs> you can used. show us how to use it because I think we need a little bit of help. I'll give a demonstration to the people. There's cream. He's up to, he's up to nine kernels in there. It's a spoonful. Oh, you know, baby steps. Because <laughs> babies are who's going to eat the cream corn anyway. Oh, it's so gross. I oh can smell goodness. it. Well, yes, that is a, an aroma. We would love to get not only your ideas on the best way to cut corn, but why don't you give us your best cream corn recipes and maybe <laughs> we'll have a cream corn Never. taste <laughs> in the coming Where's the days. garlic? My yearly eating of the garlic. We missed that, I think. We do need some garlic. We could, we could watch him eat garlic because I'm not going to join in. With so much better garlic. than corn. You just sprinkle garlic on stuff, it's fine. But eating a clove of he garlic, just bites that's, it. well. Well, I think we have proven. Clearly, it started his growth. I think we have proven that without our food guy, Zach, we're in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Lost. But he is with Bill Harris as they continue their discussion about the five basic emotional issues of mankind. I think cream corn might be one of them or cause at least three of them. But seriously, this week, the topic is loneliness. 